Hello everyone, welcome to the another episode of Decoding Growth with Raman. You can see an excitement on my face and the reason behind this excitement is because today I have with me Shriyan Daga. Welcome Shriyan, welcome to UAE, welcome to Dubai and we look forward to hearing your journey, we look forward to sharing thoughts with you and warm welcome. Thanks a lot, Raman. Yeah. Great. So, just to start with, you know, if you can briefly introduce yourself, that would set the tone for the conversation and people would get to know more about you and then probably we can pick up this conversation further. Sure. So, uh, I'm an 18-year-old high school dropout. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> the typical line sounds very cliche, but... Uh, Yes, uh, we are building OLL, which is a platform that helps students in Tier 2, Tier 3 rural cities get skill development courses okay. in school. Okay. So, that's what we are doing as of now. So, yeah. okay, very good. So, what made you to start this and we would like to understand more about OLL because uh, in this market, because we are sitting this in UAE and we are doing this for the audience of I would say GCC and then worldwide, of course, Indian uh, going to watch it. But if you want to understand more about it in depth yeah. and how OLL can help people really build some skill set and then get uh, job security or some placement or an employment. So right. if I can understand the entire journey or the people can understand the entire journey, that would be great. So honestly, uh, my journey kafi, like for me at least is different. When I was 15, I left home. Okay. And I took all my belongings. I was inspired by Gautam Buddha. So okay. I walked out. <laughs> and then I started donating all my belongings. So wallet, slipper, uh, watch. So when I was giving my cycle to this child who was underprivileged, he took the cycle and he said these exact words. Bhaiya, mera sapna pura ho gaya. Okay. That means, brother, my dream is completed. Correct. So that's when I realized that, you know, तब मुझे एक सेंस ऑफ कॉलिंग आया, एक सेंस ऑफ पर्पस आया कि इस बच्चे जैसे मुझे सौ करोड़ बच्चों को डेली उनके लाइफ में इम्पैक्ट देना। ओके। राइट। एंड दैट वाज़ द रीज़न फॉर स्टार्टिंग, द पर्सनल रीज़न। एंड व्हाट इंस्पायर्ड यू और व्हाट मेड यू टू द टीचिंग्स ऑफ गौतम बुद्धा � so, as I saw, there were many rulers uh, before Gautam Buddha and yes. after Gautam Buddha who were on power, right? they ruled on power, they built armies and they ruled over that. Uh, whereas Gautam Buddha, what I saw was, uh, he was a ruler but by knowledge and spirituality. So, his empire is last in Nepal, Bhutan, people still worship him in India, across the world in fact. So, that empire he built not by uh, power and army and all that, which could have been taken over by someone else with higher power. He built it through knowledge. So, you, you mean to say uh, that he more focused on the intellectual part or the education yeah, or empowering yeah. people, exactly. whereas other people focused more on capitalism. Exactly. Correct. Okay. Uh, interesting to understand. I think this conversation is <laughs> going to be more interesting. You said you dropped out of uh, from your 10th grade. And looking at those, uh, if, if I look at the kids of your age or at that point in time when you were studying in mm. 10th standard, what made you to do that? And plus, how was your experience? Because I think then you must have been homeschooled, right? Or what, how did yeah, you do yeah. this? So actually, uh, I had to, when I was in the 10th grade, I started OLL. So okay. when I was in the 10th grade. Okay. And in the lockdown only, okay. we grew it up to 1.4 crore of revenue in that first year. Okay. okay. So then I showed my parents that this is my balance sheet, this is my mark sheet. You <laughs> <laughs> <Aap> decide <laughs> which one is going to be declining. Hai, ye up right, right. So right. then I uh, convinced my parents first okay. that I want to drop out. Then and so what was their first reaction? Uh, first, they were against, they made me talk to counsellors and they made me talk to relatives who were very, very highly uh, professionals. And But then after that, they also understood over time ki kaam kya aane wale, kaam nahi aane wale. And right. they actually supported me a lot after that. Okay, so I saw your mo mom reposting your posts now. Mm -hmm. So that relationship has changed, I believe. 
not not really mom has always been on support okay yeah yeah okay so but he wanted more of a a job security or his son to become uh, you know correct, something correct. A, a real professional right. making good or doing good in his life exactly so every parent has that worry but again you took that uh, different step and start building ollm so if we if we ask how many people or how many lives we have impacted so far so today we have impacted over 45000 kids students. lives okay yeah and uh oh, coming to like a daily basis at a daily basis we are giving 5000 students education okay. for skill development okay and it is all about <coughs> tier 2 tier 3 cities so suburbs tier 2 tier 3 okay uh, so. <coughs> fair enough so uh, i'm trying to connect dots you know looking yeah, at yeah. your uh, uh, use dropping out from school uh, following the teachings of buddha and then it makes me to understand or i would like to understand what it, what is your daily routine looks like and how do you cope up with your things on a daily basis so before shark tank it was i used to wake up at 4 am okay and start my so you are a morning person yeah before shark tank okay <laughs> now i'm a, i sleep at 4 am oh, okay <laughs> <laughs> that has changed okay uh, but yeah rest is like uh, you know i just start working in the morning and by the time i finish working mm. and then sometimes i get a chance to play football i play football okay but that's it okay great so uh, when we know look at the uh, you dropping out of school and doing trying to do something at your own and your parents of course they would be worried looking at outside from your house looking at your relatives or when you were building this how you were able to convince people to join you to join your vision or to join your mission so and you convincing them okay this is what i'm going to do and this is how we are going to impact people so initially we just hired interns like we okay. we went to intern shala which is a website to Correct. hire interns right and we hired around 10 of them for 3000 rupees a month mm-hmm. and that's how we started we didn't have to explain them that this is what we do this is why we do and, and were they aware who's the founder Uh, yeah they did but okay. they they didn't know my age cuz mai jab baat karta hu without video ah. uh, you cannot figure out yeah. <laughs> who is it and there's I, a maturity in your voice yeah so yeah. and when you're doing work na, no one sees ki ye age ka hai ye nahi hai right so uh, we hired these interns and from there only one of our co- so my co-founder she was an intern okay who joined. okay and you know whoever was working whoever was doing well we started promoting them making okay. them heads so okay. interns ke through hamara team build hoga okay great so uh, this is one part of it right uh, say you hiring employees or you are making them work yeah, for yeah. you so there are other stakeholders as well right uh, when you look at uh, people supporting you in your technology people you want to build a technology team okay. or you want to get uh, you want to outsource it and build it so how was that relationship with the if i look at the supplier side or if i look at the client side even so we did outsource it uh, okay it was an agency they kind of supported us a lot because they charged very less uh-huh. so usually uh, agency charges around 2000 rupees an hour okay. or 1000 to 2000 bit between okay they charge us 400 rupees an hour okay because they felt that we are a startup and we're going to do well for further on so that's how they started and we still doing we still with them only and okay okay it's, it's that's really great good, yeah so uh, you i would say that you were able to inspire them <laughs> to make it to to work for you yeah you you can say yeah, yeah okay great so these two stakeholders are important part of the or the integral part of uh, any company we build uh, but again without money cannot happen right and that is always needed so how you were able to convince your investors when you got first time i know your dad wrote first check of 200000 rupees 200000 yeah, yeah so but post that how did uh, work out so post that it was only bootstrap like uh, okay. for the first two years we completely built it ground up uh, revenue got profit profit so re- reinvest reinvest okay. and grow it uh, what where we actually got investors was not because we needed the money we needed that accountability कि इन्वेस्टर पूछेगा कि मेरा पैसा कहाँ गया राइट 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 सो 
it's like andar se bahut passion tha aag tha yeah. we need someone to put aag from behind yeah, yeah. who is like bhago ah, right. so that's why we got investors in and we still haven't used one bit of the money as well okay Not great yet. i know people know you uh, you were doing good but people know you more because of shark tank now right so how has been the experience on shark tank so shark tank is like iit for startups in india Oh uh, yeah. So around 5 lakh startups apply on Shark Tank every year. Okay. Usme se 150 get aired. Okay. So that's a 0.03% chance of airing. So if if you get a call from Shark Tank, you feel like I have arrived. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So it's it feels like you're on the right path. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah, correct. So you have to just apply no- normally first and okay. then first level they s- select in an email, then second level, then third level, then fourth level. Okay. You still don't know till the last week. if it's going to be aired or no but they record you they record you you don't know if it's going to be aired so, so how how does the process work so you have to uh, do uh, pitches before uh, these judges or like when this panel sits so that's your final pitch that's i believe pitch. so before that is there a preparation or Correct. something goes behind that yeah, yeah, so yeah. we would like to understand the behind the scenes part sure sure yeah so what happens is first uh, first level was a form they filtered second level was a video which they saw and they filtered third level was a physical meet with the sony team no oh, okay and out there they filter okay and then the fourth when they actually come and prepare you so they do mock pitch sessions for three days you are with them okay so okay. your two days is preparation last is the final pitch okay so they prepare you they fix your pitch they change so pure business like they can change your entire business only from <laughs> the pitch right okay. uh, and what your story is you have they create the story they create the story right. line at it's that like it's all about trp also i have this word yeah. feeling on it yeah so yeah okay and how about uh, meeting everybody from even from the sony team and how did you find i think uh, some venture capital capitalists from mumbai they are also part of this process Yeah, let's venture is okay. the one who's a part of this. Okay. But yeah, it's it's good. Yeah, okay. It's really good. they're very smart. I think they're smarter than the sharks also somewhat. Both अच्छे से they filter out and they. Yeah. So, uh, coming back to OLL, right? And uh, you being at your teen age at this point in time. So I was uh, listening to Piyush in one of the conversations, and he clearly said that. the the role of the ceo or the role of the leader in the company is to inspire people hmm. you might not need to work though of course everybody works but the major task or the major, uh, he was saying 60 to 70% task of a leader or of a ceo is to inspire people within the organization make them understand the vision and how you can do it so how do you do it because when uh, you know at your age you might now the team must have grown plus you try to build culture there are t- different team dynamics right you might have people coming from different part of the world different part of the uh, even india also mm. plus uh, i would say <clears throat> there are cultural differences right they yeah. some of them might have worked in big, um, big organizations right uh, blue chip companies and then they okay. come to start up and then of course they need to work with you and the other team so how that works for you so uh, honestly like today uh, i still do that work which was not supposed to be done by me yeah but uh, the thing is what i feel the founder has, has to be very resourceful like uh, you cannot be like ki ye iska responsibility hai main kyu karu okay so uh, sometimes even i handle customer support i handle this i know it's not good for scale and growth yeah. but uh, at a early stage uh, you know what i feel is that you should do everything jhadu pocha bhi main karta tha right and then bathroom kabhi saaf karna tha the bathroom right. bhi saaf kar lete the yeah so i was listening to vivek bindra yeah. at one point in time what happened uh, he was like he was doing good but suddenly they they were in losses and yeah, yeah. and when they started again people were not joining them and uh, vivek indra said we didn't had a good office and he didn't had a good washroom for females to come in and work for him 
and they have had one washroom which was quite dirty and then he said I decided to clean it every day or clean it twice or thrice in a day so that it is easy for the females to come and work for us and so that they can stay with them. So I completely agree right and the founder has to uh, play multiple roles, wear multiple hats whenever it's needed and uh, as you rightly mentioned that you still do the customer service part, you get into the sales part, all of that right and I would like to mention it here that even Ghibli has reached to a certain scale and we operate at a quite large scale now in UAE and other countries but still I, the moment I feel oh something is uh, uh, is needed or something is to be done which if I go can I add value to it hmm. not necessarily I just jump in right but if I can add value to it right. I'll of course go and see if I can do something great so we'll con continue about your team culture and the team dynamics so how do you deal with all of that so for us priority for the team member should be work means they should not have any other life priorities immediately Ki, I know that sounds a little bit key. Yeah, sub, people would start uh, raising question on my pod, this podcast and say, where is the work-life balance? Yeah, where is the work-life <laughs> balance? Where is that? Yeah. But as I see, those who are in college or those who are just passed out of the college, they don't have immediate priorities like uh, family or children. Okay. So instantly, they don't have to really look at everything. Interesting fact, like yeah. now our HR has to look into it. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, so for them it's like uh, work priority should be number one. Okay. Uh, and there should be no other immediate priorities at hand. Okay. So, and we pick up these people and we just focus on their growth. But if you look at, uh, you know, I would like to understand more about yeah. it and, you know, sort of uh, confront you on this. Whereas if you look at these people coming out of the colleges these days, they have higher aspiration. They yeah. want to really do big in their life. They want to really go fast, right? When I was in my school, you know, now, of course, I've turned 32. But when I was in my school, when I was in my college, the aspiration for people was not that at this pace, which is currently there, Correct. right? And it used to differ a lot. Some, at, but at that point in time, some people might not be able to even figure out what they want to do. But these days, kids who are studying in 6th, 7th standard, they're learning uh, to code even, right? So it has become so prominent, I would say, the aspiration levels. So how do you manage that then? If you say, okay, your life priorities can be different or when your immediate life priorities are not there, but when you come and work for us, the overall is something which we need to focus on. So how, how does that work? So the first thing that I sit with them, I tell them my vision. They come to me Okay. Okay. You have to Okay. Right? So that's what the first filter is. Okay. And once they know that we are example, Gadi, we are the destination is clear. Then we all are okay, we are going to go All right. So then we know the clarity ki So then when we know ki even the team members know, even uh, everyone like is clear that we are Okay. Either, so you're saying either. clarity of vision drives that? Correct. If I put it right? Yeah, yeah. So today our team members, you call them at 12 a.m. in the night, 4 a.m. in the night, 1 a.m. in the night, they'll be ready to work. And office hours are 9 a.m. onwards. We don't keep a cap ki 6 a.m. Okay. 6 p.m. pe khatam karna hai. Okay. So it just, uh, some people work till 10, 10.30. Uh, you know, we've got a team member who comes from Naigao, which is uh, around three hours away from our office in Andheri, okay. Mumbai. So she comes three hours every morning, till she reaches at 9 a.m. and every night she reaches back home at 10 p.m. And But she she ensures that she reaches at 9 a.m. in the yeah, morning? Yeah, every day. And then that's just that's it. Like us ke liye aur kuch abhi life mein nahi hai. Okay. So that's what we, and we build this culture, we help them grow. You're saying, okay, aaj ke ko growth. Yeah, so then what does that growth chahi. path looks like for them? So if, they, somebody is, if somebody, you know, po post this po podcast, uh, 
Correct. Say somebody gets inspired by your story and you know they want to join OLL. So then what is the process of joining OLL and then how the growth path looks like? So it starts off as a very simple executional intern. I mean, uh, you start it. And then you prove So it yourself. starts from interns only? Uh, it starts from interns. Okay. And then you just prove yourself till the top. Like you can grow as good as a, a top level CXO. Okay. In the team. Okay. And one of our CTOs is just, the CTO is just around uh, 27, 28. Okay. It's very high, I mean very old, but still uh, young in comparison. Correct, correct. Comparison to other startups correct. or, uh, you know, looking at his peers even. Exactly. Right. Exactly. Okay. So. Great. So, uh, if I may ask, like, uh, you mentioned about Shark Tank and the journey out there. So, now how's the life if I want to compare say pre-Shark Tank and post-Shark Tank? How has it been for you? So, my life to 4 a.m. I used to wake up 4 a.m. <laughs> yeah. now. Yeah. Uh, the biggest change is in the numbers traction coming on the website. Okay. So, the growth out there is huge. Uh, it's a like, U-curve, I would say. Or a hockey stick uh, growth it's chart. It's a U-curve. Yeah, uh, hockey stick uh, ch- hockey chart. Hockey stick nahi hota, Because okay. the thing is... The first two days of the airing, it goes massively up, like okay. you get a lot. So of you have two parts of it, right? One is you build the supply side, which is your, which are your teachers, teachers right. and then second side your demand, which are Correct. your students, right? Correct. Right. Okay. So uh, we were, we got over fifteen thousand teachers who want to join the company okay. after Shark Tank. After Shark Tank, yes, yeah. yes. So those, those numbers have would, would have gone really high. Right. Right. Yes. Okay. And then. Uh, Coming to the revenue side, because ours, ours isn't a product company, right. it didn't sell off uh, immediately. Yeah. Correct. Yeah, it would take time. It'll, so, but it opened a lot of doors. Oh, okay. Right. I got to meet uh, the James owner yesterday. Then, right. Uh, I, I saw, saw, saw that on LinkedIn. Uh-huh. Yeah. So, yeah, it opens doors. You get to meet the top of top people. They get to know you. Your right. brand starts getting created. Okay. That trust factor. So. So one is the trust factor and the second is the, the that they start noticing you. Correct. And that helps you to further scale. Okay, great. The, uh, your journey and you know, you convincing the investors, you convincing the first, your parents. And when you must be going out, you must be facing those stereotype challenges, right? So how you were able to come out of those challenges and how you were able to convince them that this is, yes, this is something which will happen and it is going to be really big. And if I put it correctly, so those people, the reaction of those people after you getting aired on Shark Tank. So I, first, to, I don't go out only, so I don't have to convince those yeah. people. <laughs> right. <laughs> That extra effort is not put in Required. from my side. Yeah. Uh, because office is on second floor. Okay. Uh, team members who come from out of Bombay are on first floor. Okay. And we stay on ground floor. Okay. So, so it's at your, uh, your home only. Ghar pe hi pura kaam chal hai. Okay. And uh, relatives, family members who were against me in the start, right? Uh, by Shark Tank getting aired, right? Yeah. Uh, so my nani in yeah. specific. She still, uh, kuch instantly she was very proud feeling that my child is coming on TV. Pe aare, right, 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 right. But today, I was just going to Dubai airplane. Maybe she, uh, before going, she was like, son, study HSC exams, <laughs> <first Okay. standard." laughs> So it, it doesn't, uh, you know, their mindset is still the same. Ki okay. bhi chota hai, usko exam dena chahiye, because they are old. Yeah, it takes it. So I think it will take some time for them to really understand and accept that yes, you're doing something good. And I think that would happen in a couple of I would say months or years yeah. when you start making a lot of money. I would say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but she's see. Uh, so uh, my nanu is one of the investors in our company. Unka paisa around ten x ho gaya. Okay. So that she is very happy. <laughs> But when I was on she like, Beta, kar, ah. kya kar <laughs> Great. So, uh, if I may further ask, uh, you've been fortunate enough uh, to get two sharks, I believe, or from Shark Tank, right? Shark Tank. And I think it is Piyush and Vinita. Correct. So, what I believe is that 
the people who have really done well in their lives, such as Piyush or uh, many other uh, sharks, each one of them has some or I would say even one extra characteristics which makes them to do what they are doing today. Correct. Right? They have something unique about them. It might be only one thing. But that allows them to what they are doing today. Right? So, when you got to interact with these two people and of course, these are their celebrities, they are they're doing everything, whatever they want to do. What is your reading and what uniqueness you see in them? Right, we see there are a lot of videos coming up, but again, uh, this is the candid conversation we are having and Correct. you, according to me, you'll be the right person for me to ask and understand. What do you see in them as a uniqueness? So, uh, personally, I feel that they have a lot Okay, so the big vision. Big vision. Okay. And the thing was, what, what's unique is they actually implemented and actually got one step closer to their vision. Okay. So... Uh, every founder, the unique thing is that they they were able to execute, right? Okay. Uh, they were able to get that thing delivered uh, to the market, get customers, reach out, renewals, referrals. Wo kar pay wo D2C brands ke liye. And uh, individually, like their personality traits, what I felt Piyush was very philosophical. Like not just uh, ki ha business is business. Uh, you know, he's not that kind of guy. He's got a kind heart, I, I believe. Yeah, he's... I mean, uh, obviously on TV, they portray yourselves in that way. Right. Of how he wants to be. But uh, I feel he's... Uh, he's just, you know, got one step piche, macro level. Okay. He, you know, under ki business economics are sub okay. But what's your vision? Kya hai? He, ke, he asked me that seven times. The same question. Oh, okay. What's your vision? What's your vision? What's your vision? Kya hai? And every time I get the same answer again and again, again and again, in detail. Okay. Right? And that's when he got like, ki, haan bhai, ye sahi hai. So, if I may draw a right uh, conclusion out of this, is the clarity on vision. And I right. think this clarity of vision word has come twice or thrice in our conversation. And so, how about Vinita? And uh, Vinita, she just joined uh, as a... Like, you know, she just saw ki ye banda aake jane Right, hai. I saw that. She said, I don't have any interest. Huh. But I want to come with Piyush. So what was that? So that was the line they cut. They should have actually put a full line. Okay. Uh, basically it was, I don't have any interest in edtech. I don't interest in this space. Okay. But I have your platform. She saw the website. She was very inspired by the website. Okay. Your website and you have interest. Okay. So that was yeah, that we have seen. Every shark says, oh, we, we want to invest in founders, ah. we want to invest in founders. But at the end of the day, the business has to be there. Correct. So, great. Uh, uh, I think we are heading towards the end of our conversation. And uh, if I may ask, and if you would like to, again, I would not say that you give advice. And because I was, again, uh, listening to Piyush Pansal. And he says, I am not the right person to give advice to anybody. Correct. <laughs> so, but how do you see and what do you, what would you like to, I would say, reiterate to the youngsters of your age or the people who are still even, the kids currently studying in the schools, right? Should they be just studying or they should be uh, working on to acquire some sort of skill set so that uh, even after their 10th grade or 12th grade or even after graduation, they have one extra skill set through which they can at attain some level of employment or whatever or whatever yeah, they yeah. want to do good in their life. So what is your take on that? So actually, I was just speaking with the like those people yesterday and uh, they plan to get rid of undergraduation and post-graduation as a concept. Oh, okay. Right? So, the concept is hurt. So, okay. Interesting. So, so I would like to understand more about it. The concept is just that by the time you're 18, you should be ready to either get a job or build a company. Okay. Right? So, they we have to prepare our students in such a way that, uh, you know, by the time you're 18, you don't have to be dependent on anyone or any education after that to get you a job. You should be capable enough to do it by your rating. So, uh, another thing is, 
uh, your schooling or whatever you did and then you started working on it uh, we all understand uh, the when you start working when you do multiple things yeah. you get to learn multiple things but there is always something which one should learn and mm -hmm. you know i'm sure you must be learning something or you must be doing something to learn do you read so i i used to read physically first but then after that you know my book padhta tha pehla do page pad ke so jata tha okay so i had a very bad habit of reading and then going to sleep while reading only. okay and so then i started listening to audio books so today i listen to an audio book a week okay uh, and yeah so uh, at ollll you are trying to uh, impact people by acquiring new skill set or skill sets what do you do to acquire a new skill set i uh, personally i just learn from oll only okay <laughs> like i pick up a course if i'm interested like i picked up guitar and i started learning guitar right and uh, then i picked up uh, a course on ux ui design and android app development okay. i learned from there okay so that uh, i learned from well and honestly if i try to learn like i used to learn from youtube before okay and udemy lot of frustration is very high right to learn that okay so there's two emotions while learning passion and frustration okay so if your passion is higher for the concept like kuch bhi ho jaye you will figure oh, out so even if you have to read books or whatever uh, you want to, you will you, have to do you want to do, do that right right and then there's a frustration that keeps on coming like you know this is not the right thing i want to learn this is the right. wrong video this is uh, skip kyun nahi ho raha i have a doubt who do right. i ask right you know so that frustration and passion should be at a equal amount like okay. frustration should be there should be frustration to keep you challenged i think frustration drives your passion yeah <laughs> so you have to be challenged enough to be going ahead and getting more passionate about okay. that concept so so we are uh, heading to end this conversation i have been asking you so many questions uh, do you think or do you have any question for me so actually i do have uh, yeah. about you know getting on scale right uh, as a founder jab cheeze badhte hote you know you see your company is growing you feel good so uh, what should be your role right uh, when this all is happening and how should you handle uh, the scale as in so uh, i get to ask this question many times and you know i will again uh, put this so how do i see it is when you are scaling up or when even if it is so when you are out of your mvp right hmm. you have proved it that okay this is going to be there and uh, people have trust in you so first uh, the first and the foremost is your co-founder right so having a good co-founder makes a huge difference so that at least you can divide and focus on your things Correct. so this is one second is the trust of the people who are with you so uh, i keep and some people might get offended also but investor has to be the last person to be looked at right yeah uh, before funny. that you have other stakeholders so one is the, of course the co-founder so this is your immediate uh, partner and post that you have second partner in line who all are your employees and they have to see your vision they have to continue with you mm. and they have to trust you they have to believe in you they have to understand the vision so that's how we drive so when we started uh, uh, creating gibli and we understood that uh, okay this is going to be the game the first manager we have had in our office was the hr manager mm. we didn't had any other manager correct why because we wanted to build that culture we wanted to get the people in and we knew that okay technology processes is one but the organizations get built by HR. the people Yeah. and hence we wanted to have somebody to take care of our culture to take care of our people and that has been continuing for a while second you asked the role right uh, the role of a founder when you get on to a scale so uh, again uh, this looks very flashy that you need to inspire people and that you need to uh, you don't need to work the founder has 
day to day founder should not be doing Correct. focusing on bigger things and all of that so what i believe is till the time you are not at the ground and you don't understand the problems of your people and of your clients hmm. even the innovation would not happen correct right so in ghibli uh, every after uh, a month or two months we try to come up with something new right so we try we pilot uh, we do a number of things but to do that i need to be knowing what is happening on the ground correct so though the role is to look at bigger things at from macro a macro level. perspective but it is very important for you to understand the micro level mm. and then grow it so this is how i would put it right thank you very much shreyan uh, pleasure having you with me thanks a lot for uh, looking forward for the more conversations and wish you the best thanks Eddie.